Now, the name of a bridal cake is really on PC. The bridal cake itself is always white cake and white frosting because it represents the purity and the virginity of the bride. Now, over time, we've gotten a more PC term by just using wedding cake. But unfortunately, we have newer contemporary practices that actually increase the inherent sexism within wedding cake. Now, I'm talking specifically of groom's cakes. Now, if you're not familiar with what a groom's cake is, uh, it is a second wedding cake presented to the bride, uh, presented to the groom by the bride as a surprise. Uh, and the idea to it is that it opposes the femininity, the femininity of the bridal cake. Uh, it is typically darker in color, it's made out of chocolate, and because of those elements and the white bridal cake, it's really referencing uh, a time when men were allowed to have sexual proclivities outside of marriage and before marriage, whereas women were held to this different standard of remaining virgins until their wedding night. So there's a lot of double standards embedded in this contemporary practice. The other problem that it brings up is that the groom's cake is modeled after the interests of the groom. Now, I'm sure you've all seen Cake Boss and all these other reality TV shows, and they're building these cakes that are just these monstrosities. Uh, it could be designed as a beer can, it could be designed as a guitar, as a sports team. And there's a few problems with this. First, you're only allowing the groom to have his own personal identity at the wedding. Uh, the bride is limited to the generic bland white wedding cake, and that doesn't really seem fair to me. Uh, the other problem is, because the, white, the bride is limited to the white design, you're making the implication that anything outside of that realm is inappropriate for the bride. She's not allowed to share her identity that she enjoys sci-fi fiction, or, um, you know, she likes to roller skate, just anything. We usually think within wedding tradition that to participate, it, to participate in it fully, we have to adhere to these traditions. But we forget that if we honor communal interests, we actually can create new traditions that really represent the couple better. And it creates more equality. So do away with the wedding cake, uh, with the groom's cake. 